The Israel Air Force hit targets in the Gaza Strip early Thursday, hours after Palestinians in Gaza fired two grad rockets at southern Israel. A long-range grad rocket landed in an open area near Kiryat Gat on Wednesday night and a second grad rocket fell near Ashkelon, damaging a road. No one was injured in the rocket attacks. The army launched several strikes in Gaza in response to the attacks, hitting multiple terror targets. The rocket attacks represent an escalation. The last time grad rockets were fired at Israel from Gaza was in March, landing in Ashdod and the Lachish regions, forcing schools in the area to be shut down. On Monday night, a Bedouin woman was moderately injured by shrapnel after a rocket fired from Gaza landed in a village in the Negev area. Representatives of the Arab League met in Doha, Qatar to put final touches on the Palestinian Authority's application to the UN for recognition of a Palestinian state on the pre-1967 lines. The meeting comes as the Palestinian Authority leadership in Ramallah continues to face pressure from the US and European Union to abandon its statehood plan and return to the negotiating table with Israel. Several Arab legal experts who were invited by the PA to help in the wording of the application to the UN in September attended the meeting. Chief Palestinian negotiator Saeed Barakat and Arab League Secretary General Nabila Larabi, who is considered an expert in international law, and representatives from Morocco, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Oman were also present. When the application is completed, it will be handed over to the UN Secretary General so he can bring it before the General Assembly in September. Turkish authorities seized an Iranian arms shipment meant for Syria, a German newspaper reported Thursday. The Munich-based Süddeutsche Zeitung quoted diplomatic sources as saying the weapons were meant for Hezbollah. According to the newspaper, Turkish security forces stopped a convoy of trucks carrying a large quantity of weapons and ammunition in the city of Kilis, which is adjacent to the Syrian border. Ankara refused to either confirm or deny the report which did not detail where the arms were intercepted. This was not the first time Turkey has been able to foil an Iranian arms shipment to Syria. In March, Ankara informed the UN Security Council it had seized an Iranian cargo plane headed to Syria with a cache of weapons in its belly. The shipment, which was in clear violation of a UN arms embargo, included some 1,800 mortar shells, 60 AK-47 assault rifles and 14 machine guns. The plane was stopped several days after the Israeli army intercepted the Victoria, an Iranian's armed vessel bound for Syria. Despite the UN Security Council's condemnation of Syria for its ongoing attacks on civilians, reports said a number of civilians were killed and scores wounded by military forces during demonstrations in Damascus, in rural Dara province in the south and in Palmyra in central Syria. On Wednesday, the United Nations called on Syrian President Bashar Assad to immediately end all violence and permit the people to exercise the fundamental freedom of peaceful assembly. Rami Abdel Rahman, head of the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, said 500 families had left Hama, a city 210 kilometers north of Damascus, after tanks surrounded it and all communications were cut off. Earlier this week, 100 demonstrators in the city were killed by military forces. American Jewish basketball player Jordan Farmer has signed up with Maccabi Tel Aviv. A former player for the New Jersey Nets, the 188-meter guard will play for Tel Aviv as long as the NBA lockout continues, a Maccabi spokesman said in a statement. Farmer won two NBA titles with the Los Angeles Lakers before moving to the Nets in 2010. He will play alongside former Duke guard John Scheer, who signed earlier this summer. Since both are Jewish, once final arrangements are made, they will be eligible to assume Israeli citizenship and play as Israelis.